Hello, hello and welcome to another update video about Litecoin. Litecoin continues to be in this support area here yeah, of this potential wave 2 correction. We've got a few levels to watch here. So far it is maintaining the 78.6 Fibonacci retracement at $89. Expectations here would be still for it to turn to the upside as long as it's holding 89. Ideally, I'd like it to hold 89, but if it breaks below 89, we have support at 85.50. Below that level, I think invalidation of this upside setup is very likely. Invalidation will occur. One second, I just need to sit here. Invalidation will occur below 81.80, which is this wave 4 low, or the beginning of the wave 1 of larger degree wave 5. So um, the point is, as long as we're holding the 78.6 FIP level, I think likelihood for a third wave rally is quite good. Just need to add it actually to the chart. I did recently move this chart over to Binance. So I haven't got all the subwaves on this chart yet, but working on it. So first of all, we need to see if, um, if the halving does anything good to this chart. So... So this would be ideally how it would look like yeah, with a third wave rally, ideally into the $140 region, then a fourth wave pullback and a wave five of wave five. This should ideally then complete a larger cycle. But first of all, it needs to prove that it is willing to run. Um, what I wanted to highlight about this box here, this is the support region based on Fibonacci levels after a wave one to the upside, after a potential impulse that you know, price could come back lower here in this WXY structure. Um, and it needs, again, it needs to hold the 78.6 FIP level to give us a highly likely third wave to the upside below that level. We only have the 88.7 FIP level left, and that is a little bit uh, of an unreliable FIP level. Below that level, obviously, the invalidation point was already mentioned. Now, I'm currently counting the correction as a WXY structure. The idea is that we're currently in this Y wave here. And yeah, the question is, how does this unfold? I mean, I could certainly make the case to consider this B wave to be unfolding as an Elliott wave triangle. That's possible. So let's talk about a few options, how this could unfold. So ideally, we still get one more low afterwards, yeah, based on the structure. I don't think it necessarily needs it. But so far, I haven't got any evidence that price has formed a lasting low because there is no impulse to the upside and not even a five wave pattern. So the idea is that either this B wave is unfolding as a triangle as an A, B, C, D, and potentially we're now in the E wave huh? pattern. The B wave ends at the end of this. It's a bit of a, a strange, sloppy a triangle, but a valid one, a running triangle, which made a new price extreme to the downside. But that can be considered when we have a corrective move up, corrective move down, corrective move up, corrective move down potentially, and now could be the last wave up and then one more low. But ideally, it holds 85.50. I don't think it will hold the 78.6 FIP level because the whole idea behind a breakout is to the downside that it will make a new price extreme, right? Um, again, you, you heard my warning about these FIP levels and if we break below 85.50, invalidation will become very likely. So a confirmation for a breakout to the upside, which would be quite bullish, and that could potentially mark the onset of the third wave, that would be a break above this swing high here at $96. Then we should get next to roughly 104, which is this significant swing high, but then eventually target for the third wave of the fifth wave is around let me just double check that depends on how low we really go but let's assume we made our wave one we came down to the wave two roughly target wise yeah 140 143 that was the idea the 1.618 extension of the wave one minimum target but first of all it needs to hold support and only the market can decide that but I can tell you this is a decent reward to risk ratio area. And um, yeah, if we can hold support, then we should see a bit of a rally here over the coming maybe days or weeks. And um, yeah, target wise, we discussed already the $140 region. Again, there are a few levels to watch in terms of breakout uh, here 96 
and 104 and very importantly 116 dollars yeah and if this is a triangle which was would be breaking to the downside then this e wave which is the last wave of the triangle should really be nearly finished i mean alternatively or just another way of looking at it would be that we say okay the b wave finished here already you know then i've got a so-called um, flat structure and we're already coming down in the c wave but it's just a very very strange chart because the c wave would be running out of space nevertheless as long as support is holding we treat it like that and at the moment this is still in my opinion in an uptrend even though it is certainly having some difficulties okay that's my update about litecoin i hope you liked the update if you did please hit the like button leave a comment and subscribe and if you really like the content then please check out the channel membership thanks a lot for watching bye bye